Hello everybody. Today, I am going to show you how to work with Ultimate Text to Video Prompt Generator and create a demo short film. I will generate the prompts, then generate videos from those prompts using different platforms. In this case, we are going to use Video Minimax AI or Klingai. Let's create a scene. Let's say short film. And let's say science fiction in action. Here are our titles. I can select one of these titles or write my own. It doesn't matter. Let's choose this one. Nova Collapse. We'll put Cinematic, hyperrealistic. It is starting to create a long line and character details. Here, you can ask it to create more characters if you need, because you can also upload your story and work from there. It will keep doing the same thing now. It is asking me to create the screenplay. Yes, please. It generated the prompts and segments for the first scene. We are going to use these. Here is one thing to note. For the first segment, it generated the full character details. We will copy this and save it because we are going to use these details in our prompts. What we have to do is copy all of Recomps, these three prompts, take a look at what they are. Now I am going to jump to Vidu AI and try to generate these three prompts as videos. We'll see the results. We are now in Vidu, Braid Step 2 point and let's copy the prompt and generate the video. It is four seconds long. It is starting to generate the video. If you want to make it larger, you need a paid account. And I, I don't have a paid account. I have a free account, so it only generates four second videos with an upscaling option. Here is our first video. Very good. We can upscale this later. Let's do the second one. And I also tried to do the same prompt in Minimax. But it takes a lot of time to generate, so we'll have to wait for it. I will add it later once it is finished. Here is the second video. And this is good. It matches the prompt very well. We will do the third one. Vidu is really good. I like Vidu, but it is a little expensive. But it also does a great job. In my opinion, Kling is the best one. But this Vidu also has good features. I'm going to upscale this one. Just click upscale. And it will do it. Also, as you can see, it is very fast. It is not like a the free Kling account which never ends, or Minimax. Right now, there is a 40-minute wait for one video generation. So this is the upscaled version, which, as you can see, is better than the first one. It is like HD. You can download it, edit it, and... It's not the same quality as Kling, but it is good. 
We are back in chat GTP, and we are going to something like Fortnan. Check the prompts again. Here's the thing with the prompts. As you can see, when it gives the character name and age, it usually says something like 13, or whatever it generates. You must edit this and put 13 years old. This should be done when prompting, when you are creating an image or video. The AI understands that this is an age. It may not understand that 13, like this, refers to age. You can write 13 years, then it understands the age. We can also create these images inside ChatGTP, then download the images, and use them for image to video. Let's start with the first one and see how close it is to what we did in Vidu. Perfect. So this one, and segment, prompt to, image. Let's see. We will go to you. When we create the second image, let's add the seed ID here. Let's see what difference it makes. Now, it's better. You can see it's much closer. Let's create the next image. I think it's... Okay. Here's a funny thing. It just generated an image of a car driver, not a spaceship driver. This one is much better. Let's see the other one. You can see it is respecting the aesthetics and everything. You have to use seed ID when you generate the first one. Then you put generate with seed ID and just keep doing this. Now let's say we want to generate segment 2, prompt 1, with a new seed ID. This will create the next segment. Yeah. Now segment 2, prompt 1, new seed ID. Again, this image isn't great because you can see there is... This one is the second person, character Nova. Let's see where she came from. Then we have a new seed ID. So the next image we'll generate is... Next image, use for a seed ID again. This is important for keeping consistency between the images. Now she is. Now it is. Kind of. Let's do the next image. Sometimes you will not like the image it generates. For example, this one is a little futuristic. I will copy this. And we will use it. A close-up of her face. Yes, she is kind of. Probably we shouldn't use the hyper-realistic style. It makes it look less cinematic. It looks more like fantasy. If I remove this and just generate this. Yes. Please remove hyper-realistic from the prompts and generate this last image with the same seed ID. It will remove the... I do not think much changed, but it's okay. As you can see, you can generate the same prompt a few times. It will give you different shots each time. It's also nice to have a different start and end frame. You can do that too. What else? Once this is finished, let's say, let's jump to scene two. And it was scene. You can see it is starting to write the second scene. 
Again, there are four segments, oith and prompts. Sometimes you can ask it for dialogue or a script. You can ask, please write the script, and it will do it. This is helpful if you need to create the audio and finish the short film properly. You can do all of this here. It gives you the script for all of the segments. That is all for today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook group. Goodbye.